Thomas's new trucks. It was a busy, bustling day on the island of Sodor. The engines and the freight cars were working very hard. Thomas was shunting freight cars in the yard, but his cars were old and rusty. It was very hard work. Then James arrived. Luck, James puffed proudly. So Tom Hat gave me some smart new freight cars. They are much nicer than yours. It's not fair, moaned Thomas. I want new cars too. The next morning, Sir Tom Hat had a surprise for Thomas. Thomas, your trucks are getting old for your heavy loads. You ought to have some new ones, just like James. Thomas was delighted. Thomas collected his new freight cars and puffed proudly away. But when Thomas arrived at the docks, there was James. He was showing his new freight cars to Bill and Ben. I've got new freight cars too, puffed Thomas. They're even nicer than James, puffed Bill and Ben. Your freight cars may be nice and new now, huffed James, but you'll never keep yours as clean as mine. Yes, I will, chuffed Thomas. I'll have the cleanest freight cars on the island. James watched Thomas puff away. The next day, Thomas puffed into the quarry. James's cars were already loaded. I've got my stun already, boasted James, and now I spot a quarry dust on me. I can do that too, pouted Thomas. So Thomas backed under the hopper, but just as the stone was released, Thomas's freight cars chuckled. <laughs> then they rolled a bit more. Bother, huffed Thomas. Ha, puffed James. Your cars don't look so new now. Thomas was cross. Thomas puffed to the coaling plant. This time behave yourselves, Thomas snapped. I want you to stay clean. When he arrived, Thomas backed carefully and slowly under the coal hopper. But the freight cars chuckled. <laughs> then they rolled too far again. Thomas and his freight cars were dirtier than ever. Later, when Thomas arrived at the washdown, there was James. Say, I have got the cleanest freight cars. You'll be here for hours getting yours clean, laughed James. Thomas was very cross. The next morning, when Thomas puffed into the yard, he had an idea. If I use my old trucks to take the coal, he puffed, my new freight cars will still look clean and new. So Thomas backed up to collect his old trucks. He collected some coal from the coaling plant. Then he raced across the countryside. Ha! laughed Thomas. I can get these trucks really messy and get the coal to the docks on time. Then there was trouble. The rusty coupling broke. Thomas's trucks were rolling by themselves. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. He applied his brakes, but he stopped too quickly. The trucks bumped into the back of Thomas, and the coal spilled all over the tracks. Thomas was stuck. Soon, Sir Tom had arrived on Harvey. Thomas? These trucks are too old for pulling coal, Sir Tom had said sternly. And now you have caused confusion and delay. Sorry, sir, said Thomas. Harvey and the workmen soon cleared the tracks. But Thomas still had to deliver the coal to the docks. So he raced back to the shunting yards. And this time, he collected his smart new freight cars. Harvey and the workmen loaded the coal into Thomas's freight cars. The new trucks were soon filthy, but they were filled with coal and ready to go, and they were very happy. Thomas raced to the docks. Suddenly, the trucks weren't being troublesome. They rolled easily up hills. They rattled quickly down hills, and they sang all the way. Thomas raced into the docks. We need to unload quickly, the dock manager called, but don't worry. We'll try and keep your new freight cars clean. That's okay, puffed Thomas. 
My freight cars would rather be useful than clean. Just then, James puffed into the docks. Look at your freight cars, boasted James. Barely again, not like mine. James tried to pull away, but his troublesome trucks didn't want to be clean anymore. How back? How back? They chuckled. <laughs> Just then, Cranky's cable snapped. He dropped a large crate of melons. <laughs> Father, huffed James. James, tweeted Thomas. I think freight cars like to be useful rather than clean. And all the trucks agreed. <laughs>